Someone asks, what is the permissibility of taking stones and rocks from Mina or Arafat or Muzdalifa or Makkah Mukarramah back home uh, as a souvenir or for Barakah? Uh, the answer is it's not a good idea. The sacred lands are uh, uh, the Haram of Allah Ta'ala and they are sacred trust uh, kept for this Ummah until the Day of Judgment uh, for all generations. It's not your property, uh, so don't take it. Um, what you can do is take your good deeds, which is going to help you a lot more than a rock. Um, so leave things intact the way they are uh, for uh, the rest of the Ummah to benefit from them and use them until the Day of Judgment. Uh, and beseech Allah Ta'ala for his mother uh, on behalf of yourself and on behalf of the entire creation. Uh, for that reason, I remind myself and every other pilgrim to tread lightly and not abuse or malappropriate anything thereof. The thing that you take back is forgiveness and transformation for the better. You are to take back the call to Islam and change for better and to live a life there on out uh, with a purpose higher than Netflix or TikTok, or cars, or money, or ostentation, or self-gratification. If you can take this back, then the rocks uh, in your uh, backpack uh, will not be uh, uh, as spectacular. Uh, the rock in your own backyard will be uh, something that will be sought uh, uh, by people because of the barakah that they see with you. And you'll have so much barakah that even your own uh, uh, friends, neighbors, and family uh, will be left astounded. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, accept from all of us. Uh, Ameen.